What's going on? Uh, it's like our idea of, of like of things kind of like it's just so skewed and like uh, it's double speech. It's like if you look at the Bible and it says that God's people are a peculiar people. What does peculiar mean? Peculiar means it stands out that it it operates and functions in a particular way that the world doesn't. See, with churchianity, if you don't dress a certain way, you don't speak a certain way. In other words, if there's no particularity about you, like basically you become a kind of a... It's not that you're detached. It's that you're so integrated, you're like the freaking board. And that's not what God means. Even though, when you separate yourself from the world, uh, and choose to follow God's ways, which are particular, and then you are adopted into his people, which is a particular people. It's just like the Indians, you know, they came over here, and they wanted to civilize them. But... Uh, there's nothing civil about civilization ever, dude. It's like basically, they'll say things like, do you wish to be a friend of Rome? And then if you become a friend of Rome, they send their soldiers in and they just basically extort you. And But they don't conquer you. That's what it means to be a friend of Rome. Similar in a way, if you're not, a, if to be a friend of the world is to become an enemy of God. That means you lose that certain kind of particularity that a Bible believer uh, would have for one like they they wouldn't lie they're not they, they don't they don't care about things of the world like everyone else does like the small talk uh, the pop culture uh, you know some of the like all they focus on is the world the world talks about the world and the world hears them you know, but when I speak to people about this, they, they'd have no understanding. And actually, they don't want to talk about it. Because it forces them to snap out of their mold, their matrix. Because that's what really, the, the like, serving God, following God is. is like, look, it's liberty. There's liberty in knowing that you don't have to do certain things. And there's other things that you don't have to do, but you should do them because they're right. You know what I mean? And and that will give you particularity. You won't be a chameleon. You can't blend in everywhere with everyone. Even though you could be amongst them and be at peace with them and not uh, not judge them by the eye. That's the thing. That's what God says. He doesn't judge by the eye. He can see inside. He judges by men and people by their hearts. You know what I'm saying? And in our society, we're taught to observe people by their how they look, like, look, oh, this person's a fucking child rapist, ec uh, killer, liar, freaking extortioner, and they're praised as a pillar of the community, but someone who just is, operates out of, with a lot of faith is just called a fanatic, called a radical, terrorist, uh, so, in a way, it's like they're trying to lump you into one group or the other, but neither of them are very particular. You know what I'm saying? It's This is a set-apart group that doesn't operate by either of those stereotypes that are placed there, the left or the right paradigm. Uh, and it's like maybe, in a way, they it's like they're trying through the guise of, of being biblically motivated or God-religious motivated. They went and conquered everyone and made them adopt their dress and their customs, which destroys their particularity. See, that's the thing when God, when he came to Egypt and no one even knew that they were basically Israelites anymore. They, they, they couldn't even distinguish them from the people there other than, you know, they knew what side of town they were all on. And, uh, yeah, man, I see that. Like, God wants us to be a particular people with particular ways and uh, particular times. It's it's a very particular thing. 
But in the fact by it all being established and being made known to us and not hidden to us, even though man has through his traditions, through our friendship with the world and friendship with Rome, church, mainstream churchianity is totally a friend of Rome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm not saying like the Roman populace. I'm saying the Roman political, religio, religio political, the, theocratic power that came that was developed and advanced in Rome but it wasn't only Rome it was in Egypt it was in Greece it was in freaking uh Asia the uh, the whole emperor uh tower of babel nimrod kind of a pyramid system of of oppression and control and like uh tribute which God's people have a form of that as well, but theirs is righteous, and every man get, only gets what God, that God set, but when they chose to have a king, they had to operate under the laws of kings, which is, he gets to take the best of your sons, he gets to have your daughters for, he gets to take your livestock and uh, your fields, he, he gets to send people off to die, uh, so even God allowed that to be integrated in, but still, they the king had to be obedient to the prophet, which still, it was higher even than the king, because he, it's not the prophet, the prophet and his opinions or anything doesn't, doesn't matter, he just, he don't make a decision on it until God tells him to, when it, when it comes to certain things, and that was also broken and abandoned. And even after that, the, there there wasn't no prophets. Then they started to hide the actual word. Like there was this one king actually had to rip a hole in a wall in a hidden chamber, and he found a book of Moses and realized like this is totally we're not doing any of this. So it actually what it is 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 to stay particular. You have your identity in God. But to become blended into society or mixed together, you know, the sun cult mixed with Christianity, sun cult Christianity, is actually, that's what everyone's doing. Like, uh, you can look at a, a UN international religion, uh, get, a late, get, get along uh, operations that, that's friendships, that's friendship with the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the only people who have to compromise there are Christians because we're not supposed to have any other gods before us. And uh, we're also not we're supposed to adhere to God rather than men. So that's what makes us particular is that these people will compromise. They will. But some of them will outright uh, flip flop and uh, uh, just outright forsake God and do the opposite. You know what I'm saying? And so basically, you know, it, it truly is. It's like, uh, it's the world, which is any way that you you want to roll is okay as long as it's not the right way, which is the particular set-apart way. And that's what holy means. It means set-apart. It means established. And it wasn't men sat down with the council and established this stuff. It was It was written through the Spirit of God by men. Uh, appointed to do that and it's been sanctioned through the years and uh, a close diligent record has been kept that there's enough preserve that we can go back and cross check and make sure and if you really looked at it that way you know like a lot of times like they go to do a missionary work in a strange place with these people with these particular strange customs not to say all that is good but Maybe some of the stuff they've tried to destroy and then cover up, like the Smithsonian, really, it's, it, they act like it's a museum to keep history, but it's really to to gatekeep history. And uh, once again, the Bible also shatters this freaking mold, even during the time of Christ when people had this this hostility towards the Samaritans and the, the surrounding countries, the Bedouins and all this and the, these other people, there was a hostility kind of like, like, like there is between country folk, city folk, or the low class, high class. It's the same left, right paradigm all over again. Either way you go, uh, 
they're both actually off in a different way to lead you away from the real truth. You know what I'm saying? So just wanted to get this out here while it was fresh on my on my brain and it just popped in because I you know I've been always studying, always researching, always going back, always looking, always studying to show that what I'm saying is approved and it lines up. Or going back and backpedaling a little bit and uh like re- like clearing up uh places that were uh uh obscure or maybe spoken in the like you should have known what I meant, but my words came out wrong, so you could get the wrong idea. So it's good to go back over that and clarify. Same thing with this right here. A particular people, man. Jacob, uh, there's a part in Isaiah where it says, In this time one will surname himself Jacob, and one will surname himself Abraham, and one will surname himself Israel. And basically it's like there'll be a remembrance and a resurgence of Israelite, it, it, of Hebrew. Not... See, people say Israelite and automatically the Zionist, like political, like the God of Israel. They're talking about the God of the state of Israel, but not necessarily the God of Israel of the Bible and of all the Israelites and of the Gentiles and all these different people. Uh, They really point to the mountain and strike the grindstone because they do have some rights to that. Like if there is actual Jews in Israel, they... And they do serve the living God, the Most High. But that doesn't mean every one of their people, they're they're all confederate in their belief system. I mean, there could be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, It's really really messed up, man. I mean, the way with this Machiavellian double speech, it's like, it's hard to really spot it out. That's why when you catch a person say something like, the God of America, and then you must test the spirit and say to them, Which God do you speak of? Well, uh, the one that brought the pilgrims. Well, that's, well, which God was that? Well, the, the, you know, and and if they can't take it back to Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham, uh, Adam and Eve, Noah, uh, King David, Joshua, you know, it's like, look, well, that's not the same God. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you could even just say the Israelites, because the Israelites rebelled many times and had many gods uh, that they worshipped. So there's a lot of room, it, like when a person is trying to be like, I'm on your side, I follow the, the God of America uh, or the God of Israel. I mean, and look, I believe in the God of Israel, but like, look, is it which? but which one do you speak of? Like I think Jesus even says, like, I'm telling you the truth right now, and another will come and say he's me, and him you will believe, but me, you're giving such a freaking hard time about it. You know what I mean? It's the same thing there. It's like, they operate off this legalism to where they have to speak in such a way in order to trick you that it sounds like they're with you, but it's it's uh, it's uh, it's not the true title you know what I'm saying? It's it's the title, but it's like if it was a G on it, it would be little G and not big G because they never clarified it that it was him. But it sounds like they're speaking to, to him, but, uh, you know, their, their fruit and their works, man, uh, and their faith, because they have faith in him, they will do certain works. They'll be particular about it, and they won't they'll make sure... The adoration and the 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 credit goes to where it's supposed to go. Like even an angel, that's he cannot accept worship from men because that's not sanctioned by God to do. God to the glory, the the glory always goes to God. So and once again, even if you you follow God's all his his instructions very particularly and and fully well, but. If you use that to idolize yourself, that's why it says it, it, it's by grace, lest any man should boast. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got no works, if you, you don't have the faith to put in some work for the kingdom, well then, it's like, it's dead. You know what I'm saying? Just like the letter. If you, you read the letter, but yet you don't learn by it, then that's dead letter. 
You know what I'm saying? And this is dead religion, you know, when you're friends with the world and it's just so evident. But you got to read stuff that the the world, churchianity, has shut down.